And then of course we have this passage around 1942, you see. That was the first draft of Savitri in a more or less complete manner in 1942 of this part, see, book 3. Then the mother reveals all that had happened on 29th February 1956 in her talk, 10th July 1957. One day I went as usual to relate to Sri Aurobindo what had been happening that was after the Siddhi day, 24th November 1926. One day, that one day, more or less after the overmind realization in the physical, 24th November 1926. I went as usual to relate. She was exchanging notes with her. Whatever she was experiencing, she was narrating it to Shevendo. We had come to something really very interesting and perhaps I showed a little enthusiasm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the power of our mind creation and the physical was so dazzling, so miraculous, so beautiful, so enchanting, she became kind of enthusiastic and she started putting down the God's ear in this world, bringing down to the God's ear. I showed a little enthusiasm in my account of what had taken place. Then she looked at me and said, yes, this is an over mind creation. Over my intuition. It is very interesting. Very well done. You will perform miracles which will make you famous throughout the world. <laughs> you will be able to turn all events on a topsy turvy. Such power. Indeed. And then he smiled and said, It will be a great success. But it is an over mind creation. We we'll succeed, all right, it will be over mind creation. But that success will come in the way of what you have to really achieve. Your success should not become a hindrance for what you should really get. It will be a great success, but it is an over mind creation. And it is not success that we want. We want to establish the super mind on earth. One must know how to renounce immediate success in order to create the new world. In order to create the new world, supramental world is integrality. So what clarity, what conviction, what knowledge also strength with my inner consciousness I understood immediately. Yes, sir, this will be wonderful. It will perhaps push the clock of supramental manifestation ahead by another 50,000 years. If that is good. In the world of religions, powerful, but not supramental. What we want is supramental, you see. I understood immediately. Now, I understood immediately. You see, Shevindu does not say anything at all. Go and dissolve this creation. He won't say that. She has to understand that. She has to realize it. She has to pursue it. She has to discern it. It is that kind of a sadhana one has to do even to receive the hints from the creation. A few hours later, the creation was gone. <laughs> And from that moment, we started anew on other basis. That does not mean that that was not necessary. That creation, that overmind realization had to be there. The presence of the overmind consciousness, Krishna consciousness in the physical, in the preparatory stage for the supramental consciousness to enter into the physical. That is what that tremendous class means. You have to keep on preparing like that. You have to establish the over mind first in the physical and then ask for the supramental descent. You want that. That is the tremendous class. 
Otherwise, in that class, everything would have got crushed. Again. Well, I announced to you all that, etc., etc. And now, all these old things seem so old. <laughs> Once you have dissolved everything, no. all the religions, etc., so old. So out of date, so arbitrary, such a travesty, such a travesty of the real truth. What a statement. So what are religions? They are a travesty of the real truth. What are philosophies? What are our achievements? In the supramental creation, there will be no longer in the religions. The whole life will be the expression the flowering into forms of divine unity manifesting in the world. And there will no longer be what men now call gods. <laughs> Forget these gods. Forget these gods. In other words, there will be new gods. What will happen to those ones? They are not required. They, it is for them to decide. They, they, they are irrelevant as far as the supramental manifestation is concerned. They are but irrelevant. They you, if you want to remain, let them remain. Uh, after all, the whole thing is there. It is your will, uh, wish and pleasure. <laughs> but you have, you have an opportunity if you want to progress, you want to go further up. The doors, if you want to progress, okay, the possibilities have been opened out. It is for them to decide. It is for them to decide. These great divine beings themselves will be able to participate, you see, in the new creation. But to do so, they will have to put on what we would call the supramental substance on earth. See, what a tremendous statement on earth. And if some of them chooses, choose to remain in their world as they are. If they decide not to manifest physically, their realization with the beings of the supramental earth will be a relationship of friends, collaborators, equals to the highest and divine essence will be manifested in the being of the new supramental world on earth. They can collaborate, they can help, etc. All that kind of a thing. Now, what happens to those gods? Those gods will, they, they, it is up to them to decide. The choice is for them, given to them. So. But what is going to happen is, it means that there will be new gods, supramental gods. All this is there before the gods awake. Now, those supramental gods will awake now with the new creation. They will come into play, into the dynamism of this manifestation. They will awake. It was a world before the gods awake. Until now, it was not there. They are now, the new world has opened out and they are awake. They are now able to put their bit in this creation, in this possibility, you see. In other words, the gods will not awake until this new and marvelous creation comes into existence. The act of the tremendous class, the result of the tremendous class is to awake these gods. These great divine beings themselves will be able to participate in the new creation. When the physical substance is supramentalized to incarnate on earth, will no longer be a cause of inferiority. See, these gods do not want to come on earth because they feel this mortal creation. Forget about it. Hell with it. <laughs> we don't want to participate in that. That inferiority complex will not be there for them. It will give finitude which cannot be obtained elsewhere. Here on earth. But all this is in the future. It is the future 
which has begun, which has begun. We are not able to see it, but perhaps we don't know, we are not able to see, see the signs of it happening here. But which will take some time to be realized integrally, etc. The same talk the mother says. Then I truly understood when she having to say what we want is not our mind creation but supramental realization. Then I truly understood. Understood the body, she is emphasizing that, not mentally, not vitally, not in the soul, but in the physical. This is the most important thing. Understood of the body, I understood in the cells of the body. She is so specific about it, particular one. That a new world is born and is beginning to grow. It is the physical cells that she is realizing it. So we simply say a new and marvelous creation rose. Where? Where? The cells in the body. The body cells are experiencing that frequency. And so when I saw all this, I remembered something that had happened. I think I remember rightly in 1923, or that earlier creation. See, this is the prayer he rewrote. Lord, thou hast built and I execute. I execute. Earlier it was you or thou. I execute. This is now total identification of hers with the Divine Mother. The willing has to be done always with the Lord, obviously. The Lord is not going to do by through the Divine Mother. He is not going to do it through the Divine Mother. He is going to do things through the incarnation of the Divine Mother. Through the incarnation of the Divine Mother. And it is that total identification of the incarnate Divine Mother with the Supreme Goddess Divine Mother herself in that identification that in the will of the Lord things are done. Lord, thou hast willed, and I execute what tremendous thing I execute. A new light breaks, shall break, no, now break, breaks upon the earth. A new world is born. The things that were promised are fulfilled. Now, in the context of this word promised, he clarified the manifestation of the supramental upon earth is no more a promise. <laughs> See, she remembers everything, but a living fact, a reality. It is at work here, and one day will come when the most blind, the most unconscious, even the most unwilling, shall be obliged to recognize it. Well, forget about this. We are stupid people. We are not. <laughs> we are not. See, uh, we don't really count in that. You see, what is important it is this one. The manifestation of the supramental love on earth is no more a promise, but a living fact, a reality. So you can see now three or four important stages. The mother's prayer on 25th September 1914, the Divine Mother, thou shalt execute. And then after that, the overmind creation after the overmind Shaddi in 1926. And then after that, the new and marvelous creation around 1942. And then 29 February 1956, world is born, 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 she says. The new world is born, born, born. So you can say that there are actually four important stages. Starting from the mother's prayer, the overmind said the creation, the tremendous class in 1942. Now, 
if the tremendous class took place in 1942, why did it take another 14 years for it to happen? He says, new world, marvelous creation rose, Shivanu rights rose, and the mother says, born, born, born. So that becomes a little bit of a dilemma for us. What does it mean? Everything is statement of fact. Yes, new world was born in 1942. Absolutely no doubt about that. Yes, the manifestation did take place in 1956. No doubt about that. New world was born, born, born. That born and this new creation, what is happening? It only means that in between there was tremendous yogic tapasya which had got to be done. Or in other words, what was established in the house of the spirit in 1942 is a fact, it has been done. The basic thing is achieved. Simply establishing it in the house of spirit is not going to be the end of it. If it has to happen in the physical upon earth, yogic tapasya had got to be done. And that was the yogic tapasya done by us. As a result of that by us, Shrevendu withdrew in 1950 as a part of that process. And the mother took charge of it and carried the work forward for another six years with tremendous speed that what was done in 1942 is achieved in 1956. That Yogi Tapasya was performed within a short period of 14 years in the entire history of this creation, you see, <laughs> in the history of creation. So that us is there, you see. In other words, mother had the intuition of a new world appearing in 1914. The process towards this started happening in 1926. It got established in the house of spirit in 1942. But it had to come down upon earth, its relationship with the earth, in the subtle physical of the earth. It is that which happened in 1956. Such a physical of the earth, 1956. So, when you say new world is born, don't say what is this confusion. She says in 1942 <laughs> and the mother says in 1956, new world is born at different places, at different periods of time, depending upon the kind of sadhana that has gone into the entire process. <laughs> into the entire process, you see. Now, that is not the end of the story again. New world is yet to be born still. Is yet to be born. It is still to be born in the gross physical. It is there in the subtle physical. The creation is there. And it is precipitating. It is pouring itself down here. But for it to take a tangible conquest. See, the mother says, what I experienced was in my body cells. That was in 1956. That was in 1956. It has now happened on a wider evolutionary scale, on the scale of evolution. You see. What was experienced in 1956 has to go into the evolutionary process. And for that, you have to prepare a new species, a new being, a superman within ourselves so that the manifestation can take place. Our physical body, our present structure of the mental being is not adequate to hold the superman. New centers of activity have to be created, established chakras lotuses, what do you want to call them? 
within this physical so that a new being is born so the work of a new race is actually now to you right to this supramental being upon earth in the physical in the physical that is the work which is going on now you see so a new and marvelous creation arose you see this is a long story this is a long process also but then you have to understand you have to grasp you have to appreciate all that is there behind it so a new and marvelous creation arose this is in the house of spirit mother's achievement is in the subtle physical of the earth what a tremendous progress which has been achieved in this short time when the mother said you were born 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 here not there no. there it was already there so unless it is there it cannot be born here <laughs> 